Number 20. Dong Feng Four Thing Thunder. This stylish crossover starts slightly under 130,000 yuan, which seems like a bargain for such an attractive vehicle. Things become even better once you step inside, where you can clearly see a lot of influence from luxury car makers like Mercedes Benz with those round air vents, sleek center console, and a massive panel that incorporates two screens. But the Ford Thing Thunder is much more than a stylish vehicle. It is also quite an impressive performer with a 150 kilowatt electric motor and a battery that's large enough to ensure 430 kilometers on a single charge. While the company also offers a version with a bigger battery that provides quite an impressive range of 630 kilometers. Number 19, iCar 03. When you are spending $18,040 on an EV in China, you are getting much more than you would get in any other part of the world. You are getting a mid-size crossover with clear premium pretensions. That's exactly what the iCar 03 is, a spacious and comfortable SUV with a boxy shape that ensures a high level of practicality. Moreover, it is also a well-built vehicle, fully loaded with soft-touch materials and the latest tech features, including a massive infotainment screen. The base version comes with a single electric motor that puts out 184 horsepower, as well as a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures around 400 kilometers of range. Willing to spend more? There is an upgraded version with 280 horsepower and 500 kilometers of max range. Number 18, Baojun Clouds. With the design that's a halfway between a hatchback and a minivan, it's obvious that the Baojun Clouds plays on the practicality card. Besides the attractive price, which starts at 95,800 yuan, this EV is also large and spacious enough to accommodate five adults and provide a high level of comfort. What's also important is that this is a very modern EV introduced last year. So despite the affordable price, there is no room for compromises when it comes to range and performance. Base models offer 360 kilometers of range, while well, you can also get a bigger battery and enjoy respectable 46 kilometers without recharging. All variants come with a capable 100 kilowatt electric motor with a top speed of 150 kilometers an hour. Number 17, Sherry QQ Unbounded Pro. As one of the major car makers in China, Sherry has quite a respectable portfolio when it comes to electric cars. The first one was introduced back in 2015, but the one we talk about today, the QQ Unbounded Pro, has been around for a little bit over a year. Therefore, it is a modern EV that, for the very attractive price of 90,000 yuan, which equals $12,500, offers a lot in return. First of all, there is a modern design delivered in a hatchback layout with quite decent dimensions with the 2160 millimeters wheelbase and 3402 millimeters in total length there's enough space to accommodate four adults quite easily but more importantly its 75 horsepower motor ensures relatively decent performance including a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour as for the battery you get a 29 kilowatt hour lithium ion pack it ensures quite a respectable 300 kilometers without recharging. Number 16, Beiyan UAU. Believe it or not, you can buy an all-electric SUV in China for just $10,680. The Beiyan UAU looks like a pretty capable small off-roader, and it's pretty clear that eternal combustion legends like Suzuki Jimny served as an inspiration. But once you step inside this three-row SUV, you will find way more refinement than you would probably expect. Nice materials and attractive dashboard design are complemented by a couple of large screens, something you definitely don't expect to get from such an affordable SUV. Besides styles, there's also substance. Under this attractive sheet metal, you will find a 28 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures up to 303 kilometers of range. As for the power source, there is a single 50 kilowatt electric motor mounted on the rear axle which ensures a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. The Beiyuan UEU is almost a perfect small electric SUV. We say almost because it's a bit of a shame that there is no all-wheel drive version with an additional electric motor at the front axle. Number 15, Young Gang Saoxing. Characterized by pretty distinctive C-shaped LED headlights, the Young Gang Shaoxing looks way more attractive than you would expect from EV that costs around $10,540 in China. It may be cheap, but that doesn't mean it's tiny. This hatchback features quite decent dimensions, including a wheelbase that goes over 100 inches 
which is enough to accommodate four adults pretty easily. Under the skin, the Yunggang Shaoxin features a relatively modest 35 kilowatt electric motor, which is an obvious indicator that this model is rather for the urban environment than the open road. The top speed goes around 100 kilometers an hour, but on the other hand, the 32.5 kilowatt hour battery pack ensures quite a decent 302 kilometers of range. If you're willing to pay extra, there's an optional 38.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, which increases max autonomy to 408 kilometers. Number 14, BYD Seagal. Next on our list is the BYD Seagal, a model that comes from one of the leading EV companies, not just in China, but globally. Therefore, despite the fact that you can get this hatchback for just 73,800 yuans in China, which would be around $10,280, you get a lot of modern tech, as you would expect from a model introduced in 2023. Moreover, there are even no compromises in terms of the chassis and suspension setup. McPherson at the front, torsion beam at the back, as well as ventilated front disc brakes, all that comes as part of standard equipment. All variants come with a 55 kilowatt electric motor mounted on the front axle. It's not much. This should be plenty enough for daily commuting. What's more important is the range, which goes up to 305 kilometers with the standard 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. If that's not enough for you, there's also a slightly more expensive version with a 38 kilowatt hour battery, which provides an additional 100 kilometers of range, 405 kilometers in total. Number 13, Baoyun Kiwi EV. The Baoyun Kiwi EV is anything but a common small EV. The first thing you'll notice is a pretty distinctive styling, which does take some inspiration from the BMW i3, but has a lot of its own as well. In any case, in terms of aesthetics, it offers way more than you usually get for less than 70,000 yuans, which would be just $9,700, according to the current exchange rates. Besides an attractive exterior, there's also a quite funky interior design, which combines futuristic and old school design elements very well. Then there's the drivetrain, consisting of a single 40 kilowatt electric motor. It's not much, but it's adequate for a vehicle with a size and purpose. The battery is good for about 32 kilowatt hours and provides around 305 kilometers of range, which is about average for the segment. What's above average is the ride quality, which benefits a lot from the multi-link rear suspension. Number 12, Geely Geometry X3. In China, $9,560 is plenty enough money to get a small hatchback that's decent in pretty much every aspect. It's decently sized and it looks pretty attractive. Moreover, the cabin also looks nice with a modern dashboard design that's complemented by a large infotainment screen and all the other tech goodies you would expect from a modern car. But most importantly, the Geometry X3 seems to exceed most of the similarly priced EVs in terms of performance. First of all, there is a pretty capable 70 kilowatt electric motor, slightly more powerful compared to similar hatchbacks on the market. The battery is also a little bit larger, even in the most basic variants, with 37.2 kilowatt hour capacity. That's enough to make over 320 kilometers without recharging. Pretty impressive for an EV that costs under 10K. Number 11, Dongfeng E1. With a starting price of 61,800 yuan, which would be around $8,600, the Dongfeng E1 is easily one of the cheapest crossovers you can get. The thing many like about it is its simple and straightforward design, which doesn't look modern or indicate that it's run by electric motors at all. Instead, it looks like a common internal combustion car, and one of the reasons may be the fact that it was introduced five years ago. Even the dashboard looks pretty old school with an infotainment screen that's integrated into the dashboard and a partly analog instrument cluster. The same approach carries to the center console where you can find a traditional handbrake, while another way to save money was to use some old school technical solutions underneath, such as drum rear brakes, for example. If you're okay with that, then there's nothing wrong with this electric crossover. A single front mounted electric motor puts out 33 kilowatts, enough for the top speed of 105 kilometers an hour while the 27 kilowatt hour battery provides up to 270 kilometers of range. Number 10, Wuling Bingo. Less than 60,000 yuans is enough to get this stylish hatchback, which brings a lot of Fiat 500 vibes. The styling approach is similar, both outside and inside, though it's actually bigger with a wheelbase of 2,560 millimeters. With more than 310 liters of cargo space behind the second row, the Bingo is practical and convenient, 
while its dashboard definitely stands out with a lot of funky design elements, a couple of massive screens, etc. The affordable price and attractive two-tone exterior finish are enough to gain your attention, while decent performance and range are probably enough for serious consideration. The most basic versions come with a 30 kilowatt electric motor and 17 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures 333 kilometers of range. Pay extra and you will get 50 kilowatt hour electric motor and notably better performance along with the bigger 30 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures equal autonomy as in the base model. Number nine, JMC Little Unicorn. As the name suggests, the JMC Little Unicorn is a pretty small car, ideal for urban jungles, where maneuvering and fitting tight parking spaces play a significant role. The Little Unicorn is small and easy to drive, but offers way more than that. The modern exterior is one of the things worth mentioning, but you will also be glad to hear that multi-link rear suspension is part of the standard equipment. In order to cut production costs and provide such an affordable price, some savings were necessary, so don't be surprised with its old-school dashboard design or drum brakes. As for the battery and performance, a 15 kilowatt hour battery pack ensures around 175 kilometers of max range while the front-mounted 26-kilowatt electric motor is capable enough to provide a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. The JMC Little Unicorn starts at around 55,900 yuans, which equals $7,700 according to the current exchange rates. Number 8. Shangan Lumen 48,900 yuan or just $6,800 is enough money to buy this tiny, futuristic-looking EV. Not many cars stand out in terms of styling like the Shangang Lumen, especially not in this price range. A combination of sharp and smooth lines works perfectly and creates impressive synergy with those fancy shining wheels. The same trend continues to the inside, where you can find a funky looking dashboard that combines a couple of screens with physical buttons in such a nice fashion. The Shangang Lumen offers a decent range of options in terms of a battery and electric motor. The entry-level model features a 30-kilowatt electric motor and a small 12-kilowatt-hour battery that provides a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour and 155 kilometers of range. If you're willing to pay extra, the company offers two more battery packs with a 17-kilowatt-hour and 28-kilowatt-hour, which provide 210 and 301 kilometers of range, respectively. The latter also features a more capable 35-kilowatt-hour electric motor, though the difference in performance is minimal. Number 7. Lingbao Uni Chinese maker is full of mini EVs, but this Lingbao Uni definitely stands out even though it's nowhere near the cheapest one. No, we like it because of its straightforward approach. There's just one version on offer, and it is a great value for the asked price, which is around $6,640. For that sum, you get a fairly decent 16 kilowatt hour battery pack, which ensures more than 200 kilometers of range, while the 20 kilowatt electric motor has enough power to ensure a convenient city ride. Besides solid performance and range, the Lingbao Uni also looks fairly modern and attractive. We particularly like its interior design, which incorporates funky aesthetics with joyful color combinations. Moreover, the cabin is also quite practical with numerous storage compartments and 70 liters of cargo space behind the second row. Number six, Geely Panda Mini. Besides the price, the Geely Panda Mini stands out in many other ways, starting from the exterior design that combines a boxy shape with round headlights and a two-tone finish. Tiny dimensions clearly indicate Panda Mini's pretensions to be an ultimate solution for city jams, as the 2015 millimeters wheelbase provide nothing but excellent maneuverability. On the inside, you get a layout that's so typical for modern EVs, simple and mostly relying on digital controls, though there is still a fine portion of buttons, especially at the center stack where you control air conditioning. When it comes to the technical aspect of this tiny EV, there were two variants in terms of power and battery. In both cases, the electric motor is mounted on the rear axle and can be good for either 20 or 30 kilowatts, enough for the top speed of 100 kilometers per hour. The base version, priced at 42,900 yuans, uses a 9.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures 120 kilometers per charge while the bigger 17 kilowatt hour battery pack increases the max range of 200 kilometers. Number five, Bayek S3 Yambao. With a starting price of 33,000 yuans or $4,710, the Bayek S3 Yambao is one of the cheapest EVs you can buy in China, but it doesn't look cheap at all, at least in terms of aesthetics. 
This tiny hatchback stands out with its futuristic front end design, as well as a nice two-tone color, while the cabin seems to look even nicer. The materials seem pretty fine, while the simplistic dashboard design is complemented by two screens integrated into a massive panel, one for the infotainment and the other for the gauges. For the aforementioned asking price, it's hard to ask for much, but the basic S3 Yambao is more than a decent city performer, as its 20 kilowatt hour electric motor mounted on the rear axle provides a top speed of 100 kilometers. As for the battery, base models are equipped with a small 9.6 kilowatt hour pack, which should provide up to 120 kilometers per charge but the company offers an upgrade a 13.6 kilowatt hour battery which ensures an extra 50 kilometers of range which seems highly convenient number four dong Feng mini ev there are so many things you can buy in china for less than five thousand dollars including several electric cars the dong Feng mini ev is one of them it may be tiny, but imposes itself as an excellent solution for city transportation. The exterior design feels modern enough, but what really stands out is its cabin, which looks very old school, except for the one not particularly large screen behind the steering wheel. You won't find many high-tech features. Instead, the Dongfeng Mini EV is loaded with numerous physical buttons and knobs, and we actually like it, especially in a combination with two-tone color scheme. Besides appealing retro interior design, we also like this EV because of the variety of options when it comes to the battery and electric motors. As for the battery, you get a choice of three sizes, 9.2 kilowatt hours, 13.8 kilowatt hour, and 16.8 kilowatt hour, with the autonomy ranging from 120 to a quite impressive 220 kilometers. Performance-wise, base versions use a 25 kilowatt electric motor, but you can also get a 30 kilowatt unit available in models with bigger batteries. Number three, Sherry QQ Ice Cream. It may look like it was designed for customers who aren't even old enough to drive, but the Sherry QQ Ice Cream is a highly desirable item, especially among the female population. Of course, only if you live in China, where this gorgeous little fellow starts at $4,160. Though it's important to mention that the base version is pretty much a bare bone and that most of these amazing details cost extra. Anyway, besides, look, this ice cream comes in two flavors. When it comes to the battery capacity and range, base models can make around 120 kilometers with their 9.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. Once again, pay extra and you will get an upgrade, a 13.9 kilowatt hour battery and autonomy that goes up to 170 kilometers. Number two, Reading Mango. When an EV costs 29,800 yuans, which would be around $4,140, you don't expect much unless it's the Reading Mango. Unlike other similarly priced EVs, this one isn't a tiny city car. It's rather a decently sized hatchback with five doors and the ability to accommodate four adults quite comfortably. Moreover, it also looks quite attractive from the outside as well as from the inside, where it offers a pretty simplistic dashboard with one screen behind the steering wheel and a little bit awkwardly designed climate controls. Under the sheet metal, there is a 25 kilowatt hour electric motor, as well as an 11.5 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides up to 130 kilometers of range. Willing to pay extra? There are also 17.3 kilowatt hour and 29.4 kilowatt hour batteries, which provide 200 kilometers and 300 kilometers of range, respectively, as well as a more capable 35 kilowatt electric motor. Number one, Wuling Mini EV. The Wuling Mini EV is one of the most successful EVs, not just in China, but globally, with more than 1,140,000 units sold since its initial launch in 2020. Of course, one of the key reasons for its popularity is the super affordable price of 28,800 yuans, which equals just $4,000. The Wuling Mini EV is tiny and therefore easy to drive, but it's also quite practical thanks to the boxy shape. Under the sheet metal, there's a combination of a 20 kilowatt electric motor and a 9.3 kilowatt hour battery, which ensure a top speed of 100 kilometers and a max range of 120 kilometers. In our book, that's a lot of quality in return for the paid price. So it doesn't surprise that the Wuling Mini EV still feels relevant on the market four years after its launch. And that's it. If you want to see more EV content, check out this video. See you there.